Brian Smith and Hunter Moreland for the opening faceoff. It's won by Duke and Montgomery shakes the defender, feeds the wing, skip pass to Gutterding. And Hopkins able to recover. Gutterding feeding the crease, finding the freshman Joe Robertson. Possession, you see the physical nature. Boom, right there. Defense has to rotate. Ball reversal and then seam pass. Hopkins recovery is late. Robertson with the easy layup. Duke off to a would stick D midi for Hopkins. Shot clock against Duke. Gutterding. Robertson a kick save. The rebound and a score. Joey Manown to nothing Duke. Watch him just sitting on the top arc of the crease. He sees the ball. Jones loses it for a moment. And just in the right spot at the right time. Seems weakly. Youngest of eight siblings, all of whom played at Division I College of Lacrosse. Cole Williams, the first tally for the Blue Jays. To snipers like Cole Williams, who's put in a monster sophomore campaign together. 14's got the ring. Gutter in. Gutter in the lefty. Rolls inside, save Turnbull, Guttering on the follow! His 205th career goal. I mean, let's be serious, you've got to be able to catch and throw and be clean with the lacrosse ball. Gutterding, spinning, stuffed by Turnbull. He gets his own rebound, and guess what? He's never touched Carr. Get out of the first round. Four made the tournament. Manown gets the step. His second, and it's 4-1 Blue Devils. Speed in the open field, dodges to the dirt. Hopkins defense staring at one another like, I thought you were gonna go. No, I thought you were gonna go. No double team, too easy. He's got it, Patrick Frazier, 29 career extra man goals. And the Blue Jays cash in with the extra man, Jake Fox, the junior. Because of his ability, to catch in tight spots and he's jacked up too and when you get a guy like Fox whose playing time is limited to give you some juice bench explodes Fox suspended for a game follow really like what he's brought to the table also a terrific chess player John Fender guest Duke getting a goal from its defensive midfield the third of the year for the junior that leads to Prendergast running in transition. Look at his blinding speed. Love the shot. Keo inside to Vallis. They take Cole Williams off the field after that last turnover and insert the freshman from Manhasset, number 24. He's played in some high-level games on the island for Manhasset, and he delivered. As an attack, we never played midfield in high school. Smith wins another faceoff. He can go. Smith scores. The pin he says Smith is an old school midfielder. If he wasn't a faceoff guy, he'd play somewhere on the field, whether as an offensive player. Not on goal. Wall scores. Individual effort by the sophomore. This kid's guts as a freshman. He, he's like a 23-year-old sophomore now. He's very mature athletically and socially. Saw the body, too. He purposely was getting into his defender. Fly. Fowler comes up with a huge save. Denying Fox right on the doorstep. In high school was a goalie. Connor De Simone and Hopkins with the man up goal. Is this the spark that starts the fire for Petro? One, two, three, four. We want more. Con Cannon to Guida. Guida sets. Shot is blocked. On the rebound, Cole Williams cleans up. With the immaculate deflection. Now the score and rebound goals is two for Duke, one for Hopkins.
be alert. What coach Billy Duan from Hopkins. 20 seconds, Justin Gutterding gets the pick from Montgomery. Rolls back. Gutterding on the inside roll has just tied the Division I career goals record, equaling Zach Greer with 206 career goals. But don't question this kid's determination, his grit, and his nose for the cage. This is actually pretty good defense. Foley's got him where he wants, but the rollback and being so a cut. Gutterding, they play a ton of games, so I, I, I don't buy oh, come any, on. I, I don't buy any of those stats, honestly. I want to see it on a per-game basis. They, they play 18, 19 games a year. They play more games. He's got a point, Anish. I mean, I mean listen, I know, 200 on a per-game basis. <laughs> Brad Smith, the goal is good. The flag is down. And Duke with a two-goal blitz. And Face-off wins. There's a hold there. It's a flag with a play on. The Jays are staring upfield. And Smith has been kind of a do-it-all guy. He's a top five midfielder in the country. They've played him at attack a lot this year. Big goal totals, big assist numbers. When it became the norm, they brought a little bit more of that. Patrick Frazier, his 30th career man up goal, the junior. Or rather, the senior, he's Patrick Frazier, is from Franklin, and then moved to Walpole. I remember the first time when he was a freshman, I was at a Hopkins practice, and his shooting stroke, I was just like, oh my gosh, that's the freshman from Massachusetts? Feet set, torque, rotate. For five goals, he's been quiet today. Dangerous pass by Fowler, results in a turnover. Frazier, hip toe the sideline. Feeding inside, Hubler the goal, the late hit draws a flag. This outlet pass is inexplicable. For whatever reason, Fowler thought Frazier was an attackman, and then he wasn't able to go across the midfield line and contest. And then another penalty now sets up a potential Hopkins extra man. They're three of six, but this man up faceoff looms really, really large. Fowler, all ACC selection, dangerous pass. Loose ball, Hopkins gets it back. Christopher Hubler again, inside, ball! It's a one goal game! Finding their money man, Kyle Moore from Shaq Stanwyck. You've heard that combination before, Hubler in transition, money in the bank. Now to Kai Montgomery. Montgomery, the freshman, responds for Duke. The number nine recruit coming out of Texas, Dallas area. The future is bright for Nakai. Shake and bake left to left. He clears his defender by so much real estate that he's able to bring that ball back into his right hand. He plants that foot, Quint, and... Nakai Montgomery. Montgomery, two in the cage! You get the sense, Karp, the last two weeks. He's been the brightest star in crunch time from the state of Texas. A little raw in spots. And I'm showing you a guy that has some versatility here in terms of his dodging. The prior dodge was a shake lefty down the alley. He started him, Donowski did, early in the season when maybe Montgomery wasn't ready. And there were flashes of brilliance and also rookie mistakes. Pelton, the long pole goal. How about the Blue Devils? Hopkins gets the within one. And Duke with three goals in an eye blink. Montgomery and now Pelton. Kark and I talked about Pelton and how good his legs look in this game. Scoop and off to the race, his left hand, it switches to his right. And he buries the rock. 15 goals as a senior now. Make that big number 16. As a high school senior, he had 15 goals as a long pole. And he has his first this year.
Stan Wink around X. Feeding inside. Stan Wink to Marr. That was the formula against Georgetown last week late. Finds Marr on the back post. Lacrosse is a visual game, Kark, and Kyle Marr just flashed ahead of his stick, and Stan Wick saw it out of the quarter, corner of his eye. Yeah, Kyle Marr. 20 on the shot clock. Gutterding. Oh! Justin Gutterding scores! And that's the record. His third of the day, the 207th of his career, a new Division I career goals record. And that goal more than likely sends Duke to championship weekend. Icing, the exclamation point. Well, watch him press up, change direction at X. Watch him here, lean in, plant, turn to the outside. The question mark to perfection. You're not kidding, Quint. Rob Pinnell took that move to the next level. It's always been there. You played with a great Johns Hopkins. Less than a minute to go. I think it's a compelling championship weekend. Joe Robertson, the save by Turnbull, the rebound. And that will put the ribbon and wrapping paper on this one. Season coming to Durham on the heels of eight straight semifinal appearances and not having played. The Duke seniors have their trip to championship weekend.